Hi Scorpio, this is a general love reading for mid-February 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is general, so it might not resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And let's see, what is the main theme for Scorpio for mid-February in love? All right, we got two cards. We have Tree of Life, Fertility, Creativity, Destiny, and Magical Blessings. And we also have Ganesha, Clearing Away Obstacles, Protection, and Guidance. All right, so I feel like this is actually a very important time in your life. Um, this is a number one, by the way, the Tree of Life card. The other one is a 31 for those of you who are interested in numbers. Um, this is definitely a very creative time period. There could be new projects that you are taking on, which I feel is like um, fulfilling a life purpose or a mission of some sort. You might not even realize it, but I feel like it's beginning to boil up in you, all right? If you don't feel like it's already happening or that you're not there yet, it's like bubbling up in you. And this is helping you to clear obstacles. Um, it could even be that obstacles are being cleared within a particular connection that you have with somebody and a lot of this is actually related to you being able to find this purpose, all right? Like tapping into your own um, creative purpose or whatever purpose it is that you are fulfilling, all right, at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm getting that this is like a deep type of a connection that you must have with this person. So let's see. Let's get into the details. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-February. So for your energy, we have the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. For them, we have the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Tower. All right, so Scorpio. All right, so for a lot of you, I feel like you're still kind of um, confused when it comes to what you should be doing, or you are confused about this person. All right, um, I feel like you you might have a lot of scenarios in your head that may or may not be true when it comes to which direction this connection is heading towards. And because of that, you're finding yourself in a place of conflict. And it might not be consistent. You're like, I don't feel like you are consistently in this place of conflict, but I feel like it does creep up on you um, here and there, enough so that it is affecting your your energy. All right, um, it's not necessarily a very bad thing. Like I don't see it being that that negative. I feel like it's just something <laughs> to just kind of throw you off. Um, for your person, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Tower. They're carrying some kind of a burden. They are facing a very difficult time at the moment. I do feel like they are on the right path here, though, with the Ace of Swords. Like, I feel like whatever whatever this is, there's some action that is being taken in order to deal with it in a, in a way that is aligned with their higher self, and it's based in truth. But at the same time, it's still causing them to have this like a dark night of the soul or just really facing some huge, huge changes or having to make some huge changes. Whatever the case, it's, it's something very difficult for them. All right, um, let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have Judgment, ooh, the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, wow. Wow, there's a big shift coming up right after I feel this tower. 
either a, deci a, a decision is being made or there is just some kind of a rebirth, a new way of being, a new way of thinking, um, major revelations, which I feel is leading to, leading up to a reconciliation, a huge shift in the way thing, that things have been. It's, it's like it's shifting big time. At the very least, I feel like even if it's not a full reconciliation here with the Six of Cups, I feel like it's going to be um, a very deep, deep longing. And I feel like it is from your person's side, all right, with this Judgment card here. Um, let's see the final message for you is the Two of Swords. All right, we'll see what that is about when we get there, once we clarify. So let's, let's start clarifying. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups for your energy. Alright, we have the Four of Swords. Alright, so you're in a place where you're you're trying to heal. I feel like you're really trying to let me just move these. I feel like I feel like they're not really in the camera shot very well. Alright. You're trying to heal various aspects of yourself. And you're trying to find some peace um, when it comes to these scenarios that you might be coming up with in your mind about what is going on in this connection, all right, this confusion. I feel like you're trying to find peace actually with the confusion, if that makes sense. Um, again, I feel like you really don't, you don't really know what is going on exactly with this other person. You might know certain things. But I feel that for some of the for some of you, you don't really know what this tower is all about, or what it is that they are facing here, um, or either that or you don't understand it. And either way, you're trying to find some peace when it comes to all the thoughts you might be having concerning this person or concerning whether they're where this is going. Can you see the Eight of Wands? Kind of like trying to be okay with not knowing. Um, we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so you don't know, again, I feel like you don't know where this is going, um, but you're trying to just really take care of you at the moment. It, I'm almost getting that for some of you, you, you have like this newfound respect for yourself. And I feel like you're just trying to be, trying to be really strong. You're trying to, let me get one more. But I feel like you're trying to make things happen for your own self here. Ten of Cups. You're trying to make things happen for your own self. And I feel like you're almost turning the other way when it comes to, to this connection. Not completely, not completely. Like you, you're still concerned with what is going on here. But I feel like you're more in this Queen of Swords energy as in detaching from where this is going and not being so attached to knowing what is coming up or knowing where this is heading or what is going to happen and will you know this come together will we be happy together all of that you're detaching from that kind of an energy let me see the five of wands yeah the eight of swords all right so yeah you are working on that detachment But I feel like, you know, when you do feel conflicted, it's really all in your head with this Eight of Swords. It's just a fear that you are holding on to. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, for that for all of you that this means that this person is definitely, you know, making things right and all of that. But a lot of these scenarios or the fear that you're holding on to when it comes to this relationship is all in your head. Um, it, I mean, for some of you, it could be that, yeah, you know, you might be right about certain aspects. But if you have a fear, for example, of, of letting go, well, then that's, that's all in your head. Like, if you think that you're going to be um, 
alone forever, for example. That's what's all in your head. Anything, any fear that you are holding on to is, I feel it's serving as a bit of a barrier when it comes to you really tapping into your, your, your own purpose. Release the fear, Scorpio. Release the fear and the mind games. It, it, it almost feels like you're playing mind games with your own self without even realizing it sometimes. All right, not all the time, but sometimes. Let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the Ten of Wands. The Magician. Let me just get one more. And the Two of Pentacles. All right, so this person is, like I said, really going through a lot. They're trying to balance a lot of things in their life. I feel like this is creating a lot of pressure on them. But I feel like they are managing it, all right, with the Magician. They are manifesting. They are able to kind of, like, almost like magic, kind of bring things about so that they can work out. It's still really, really hard. It's still going to create this tower or it's already, this tower has already been created and they're currently going through it, which, you know, does need a little bit of time, but they are managing is what I'm getting here. They're just feeling extremely pressured at the moment. Let's see the Ace of Swords. Ooh. Okay, this was way too many. All right, so clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the Tower again. This person is doing something huge. I don't know what it is that they're doing, um, but definitely uh, possibly destroying old belief systems, for example, but it's huge. It could, for some, it could even be like a divorce. Um, for others, it could be giving up um, you know, some kind of an addiction. For others, it could be going against their family in order to go after what it is that they want. It's going to be different for each of them. Let's see if we can get any more information. Whatever it is, they're taking action. The Page of Wands. There's even enthusiasm behind it. I mean, it, it's still not, just because there's enthusiasm, it does not mean that it is easy in any way whatsoever. This is just that there is drive, there is motivation, and this is why they're taking that action. Clarify the tower. The page of swords. And let me get one more because um, I feel like we didn't we haven't really gotten much information for how they feel about you. But we do see that in the future, the ten of swords. Alright, because I feel like right now, whatever it is that's going on with them, um, it's so big. And I feel like it, it, for most of you, it's not even related to you. This is, this is something else. This is something else in their lives. Um, for a small group of you, if this is related to you, it could be that they felt pressured within your, your relationship. All right, and they're trying to figure that out and what it is that they need to do in order to be able to um, to fix that either within themselves or to fix things with you. All right, because doing so would require a huge, a huge um, shift. But again, for most of you, I feel like this is something outside of this connection. All right, now with this tower clarified by the Page of Swords and the Ten of Swords. This, uh, okay, so I feel like this tower is in the initial stages, all right? It's not, it's not over yet. It is moving in that direction. Um, we do have the Ten of Swords, but I feel like with the two pages here, and this page is together with the tower, it's in the initial stages, and it is involving an ending, a huge ending to something that is very, very difficult and painful. All right, and again, it's going to be different for each of them. But whatever that ending is, you you might know about it, or you might know what the situation is that would need to be ended for them. All right, I feel like that is in the initial stages of happening. 
currently. All right, let's let's see the near future because I see things shifting big time. This tower is creating a huge change here. All right, clarifying judgment, we have the Five of Cups. All right, so this is, whatever this tower is, it is going to have some residual effects of loss, and it's going to come with some sadness, all right? Because, um, I mean, and, and it only makes sense, right? It only makes sense. If there's something that is being destroyed, something that is being given up, something that you know, was in this person's life uh, for a long time, whatever it is, even if it was toxic, even if it was negative, it's it's going to come with some pain, with some um, sadness here. But along with that, we have judgment, which is overpowering that. All right, it's a rebirth. It's starting over again. So I feel like, th and that is what is leading to this six of cups like once this is cleared this is why you're not showing up in their energy because this is just so big and but once that clears up and there's this like this um regeneration here with judgment and as i say that i have judgment on the bottom of the clarifying deck as well um that's when this six of cups is coming in that's when this um potential for a reconciliation or a coming together is coming in, um, this is when this person is going to really start um, longing for you if you're not together. If you are together, well then, this is more of like, okay, let's take things back to how they were. And it's interesting because now I stopped shuffling, I have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, which is also the last card here, okay? So just some confirmations. There is a huge shift coming. This is divinely guided for sure. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. And we have the Moon. Oh, okay. So for a lot of you, yeah, this person is going to really be longing for you, really going to be missing you, but they might not be showing it to you, okay? It might be, it might be hidden. The Ace of Swords, yeah. There will be action though. There will be some kind of action or some communication coming in. I just feel like they're not going to um, completely express everything of how they feel. And that's probably going to be because they're still going to be carrying a little bit of this Five of Cups residual energy from the tower that they have um, faced. Let me see the Wheel of Fortune. Right, we have the two of wands all right that's interesting because i feel like we had this card in the exact same position for cancer actually hmm. let me get one more Two of Wands is more like a preparation. Ten of Wands. Alright, so this is a shift when it comes to whatever it was that this person was carrying. I feel like this future energy is completely about your person, mostly. Not so much you. Um, whatever this burden was that they were carrying, whatever this pressure, this responsibility, or... And for a lot of them, yeah, it could have just been pressure about... A relationship of how they how they view relationships and commitment okay for some of them for some of you that is the case that is what is being shifted when it comes to this stalling I feel like this is something um, that either you or they have been waiting for I mostly get that it that it's you that may have been waiting for something to shift for something to happen for this burden to be released. And I feel like that is what this wheel is bringing. But I'm also getting a sense of a plan. Kind of like, all right, this is interesting because I do feel like that this tower is going to resolve things, especially when we have judgment following that. 
However, I feel like this 10 of wands, whatever that pressure is, there might still be an aspect of that that is still present here. But what is happening is that there is a plan or there is planning in how to deal with that, in how to resolve that. It's like things are shifting. It's a new way of dealing with, with that obstacle, whatever that was. All right, let's see that final message of the Two of Swords. Let's see what that is about, Two of Swords. death there's okay there's a transformation here that I feel like you you're really unaware of there's something you really don't see and again I feel okay <laughs> I feel like I've been saying this to Scorpio for like forever since forever um, but that's really what I'm getting here also some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or even maybe another Scorpio um, or but this could be you as well undergoing your own transformation whatever whatever the case the major point here is that there is a transformation that you are not aware of you it, and it's almost like I almost get that for some of you you're choosing not to see it for some of you and it could be because sometimes you get stuck in this fear which prevents you from seeing the tra a transformation that is taking place here, either within yourself or within this connection. All right, and it's because sometimes you might come up with these um, scenarios as to what is going on, and it just kind of like blocks you. Either way, I see really good things um, happening here. I feel even for you, all right, clearing away obstacles. Listen to your guidance because I feel like you are getting a lot of guidance. It's just a matter of really opening your eyes to it. All right, Scorpio, let's get your final oracle message. And if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. All right, we have peace and we have treasure island. So yeah, you know, the more you can find that peace within your own mind and bring yourself to that place of balance so that you can find your center and therefore peace, <clears throat> that is what is taking you to this treasure island. It's going to help to move you to that, to uncover that, to discover that. All right, because that treasure, I feel like it's on its way. It's like swimming. The, this turtle carrying the, the treasure on its back, it's swimming towards you, it's swimming towards the peace. So the more you find that peace, it's like that turtle is coming that way, coming your way. All right, Scorpio, those were the messages for you. I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.